Okay, I think I'm like, <laughs> I think all these complications. All right. Hello, happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. I'm going to wait a minute and see. Um, Facebook's doing its thing. Okay. I think this is, this is working. All right, as you guys are popping in, I want you to pop in, say hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, I usually like to say happy family day. Uh, I don't typically work um, on Sundays. However, I have a lot going on. Yes, the sky is very beautiful here. Thank you. Yes, Molly. Molly, where are you from? What's up, Sarah? How are you, girlfriend? Long time no talk. (laughs) Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's very, very beautiful here. So we went to the pumpkin patch today. Holy moly. It was the most crowded I've ever seen a pumpkin patch. And we've been going to the same pumpkin patch now, oh my gosh, for about, I don't know, my gosh, since my nephews were young, like 16 years. And this pumpkin patch, man, I mean, we couldn't even move. It was crazy. But it's beautiful here in Chicago. It's 80 and uh, sunny. Super, super nice. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous day. So even though we went super early, forget about it. It was it was chaos. Absolute chaos. Um, and then came home and we've been cleaning out the house and Tim just took the boys out. So uh, put some bags together for a Salvation Army and it's all good. So I was able to hop on with you guys. Uh, how's your Sunday's going so far you're sweating in your office who is that Tara your day job it's 85 degrees what's your day job girl Molly the hurricane is just oh my gosh is it the hurricane from uh, Mexico guess what I'm going to going to Cancun going to Cancun on Wednesday (laughs) Yep, we had to pick Cancun of all places, but I'm telling you, with this hurricane season, you guys, it's just awful what's happening, right? Um, so it's supposed to be rain, like, every single day, and we're going with 22 of our friends, or else I'd be canceling this trip and, and going to Cabo, going and headed to the other side. Um, but hopefully we'll just have a good time and have some cocktails. <laughs> Who knows? All right, guys, so um, thanks for jumping on a Sunday afternoon. I hope everyone's having uh, an awesome Sunday. I want you to drop me a comment, say hello as you're tuning in and where you're tuning in from. Um, and I'm going to keep this probably short and sweet just because, um, like I said, Tim left with the boys, but they will be home soon, and I got I to gotta start dinner. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about marketing. And there's two different ways that I see people marketing nowadays. It's funny because I've been in network marketing. So I guess I'll share my story just real briefly for those of you who are not familiar with Julie Burke. Um, My name is Julie Burke. I am the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I've been in network marketing for five years. Recently um, left one company and started uh, somewhere else. And uh, very, very happy and blessed. And what I do here on my fan page is I actually provide value and do trainings and um, really to help network marketers, whether you're a network marketer, um, uh, uh, an affiliate marketer, any type of really home-based business entrepreneur. Um, I like to teach online strategies. Why? Well, because I'm a busy mom and i um, I like to build my business with my phone and my laptop anywhere in the world (laughs) and really like to leverage my time. And that's what I like to teach other entrepreneurs to do as well. And so it doesn't matter what you do in your life. It doesn't matter if you, you know, you are a network marketer and and you're here and you're learning from me. And oh, by the way, um, when you're done watching this, if you want to go back for other trainings, I've probably now done 240. 40 ish, 240 uh, Facebook lives since I started this page a year ago. 
um, a little over a year ago. And so go to the videos tab and there's a whole library of videos there, you guys. And, and even for those of you that are on this, if you want to go back, back to any of my past trainings, just go to the videos tab here, okay? And <clears throat> so w when I got started in network marketing, I went from zero to six figures in a year. Now, there's a lot of reasons why, but one of the main reasons why was through social media. I actually, before I even knew what branding was or really even knew, you know, there's so much highlighted, um, or there's so, it's highlighted so much about marketing and target marketing and branding and all this stuff nowadays. But, you know, years ago, I just, I did it through trial and error. I basically got a Facebook account and started posting a uh, curiosity post. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, sorry, I got notes here. I always got to make sure I stay on task, you guys. So you could do Facebook Lives and have notes, everybody. It's all good, okay? Okay, so with um, marketing, I was doing a form of marketing, and I really didn't know what it was. You guys, my background was, is I owned a franchise. I owned a fran a, like sandwich shops. So I really, you know, I was doing different marketing then, but I think really what it comes down to is marketing is marketing and you have to understand how to market and sell your product. If you're not moving product, you do not have a business. If you're not selling your services, then you don't have a business if you're in coaching or you know something of that nature. And so I, I realized I had to start studying uh, sales and marketing more than anything else. So long story short, I was... Um, doing what you call or, or what I call intrigue marketing, okay? And so there's two different types of marketing that I see happening. And one is um, what I've learned is called hope marketing. And hope marketing is not effective, right? Because there's no real strategy behind it. I mean, it, it's, um, it's just putting something out there to the world and hoping that somebody takes action on it. Does that make sense? And so instead, you want to create a strong foundation in your marketing message. Okay, have you guys ever heard that term, hope marketing? Right, so, um, you know, I, my past company, um, I'll, I'll use the two examples. So, like, my past company it was um, a health and, wellness, health, health and wellness company. So one of the main staples of the products is, is a shake, okay, a protein shake. So if I was to do hope marketing, I would like, I could do either a Facebook live or even just like a simple post of holding my shake. And I could have said, oh my gosh, um, I just lost five pounds with this amazing shake from blank company. Right. And just put it out there and then hope that people respond or like hope that people ask. But you know what? I just told them the name of the company. Okay. And, and this is what I've taught very, very, very early on five years ago. This is why I taught this because I was taught this through a mentor. But so the reason why we don't want to say our product name or exactly what it is and create some sort of intriguing curiosity is number one, to have people reaching out to you to ask what it is. Number two, they could see what it is and they could go off and Google it and get total misinformation. As we all know, we live in this world where there's misinformation and then they're like, oh, you know, this person wrote a negative comment. I'm not going to go try that. It's, you know, <laughs> maybe someone wrote like the shake, <laughs> the shake makes you poop, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Cracking myself up on a Sunday afternoon. So like somebody maybe just had a negative reaction to the shake. And it, now people think that they go Google and they see this negative comment, right? So here's the thing. You guys, you want to make sure that you are in total full control. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for the, <laughs> the smiley faces. Um, because we've experienced, I've experienced something like that before with not me doing it, but a teammate in the past has, has, has not followed my instructions <laughs> and did it. And then they, they got a negative comment, right? And so people could have, you know, 20 testimonials and then there is like the one negative comment, like positive, And then there's the one negative and people like only want to focus on the one negative. Am I right? So anyways, you don't want to just go and be like, hey, look at this amazing um, 
anti-aging skincare from my company blank, right? I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. Like you're just throwing it out there. You're, you're maybe putting before and after pictures, but you're putting the company name and they're just, you're just throwing it out there and hoping that people respond. You're just hoping that that's hope marketing, you guys. And so what I, um, what I want to explain to you today or, you know, help you with today is to understand the other side, which is intrigue, creating that curiosity, intriguing them. So they reach out. So if I was to go put out now like an intrigue post now that I've switched companies, I haven't even gone vocal with it. And I'm only telling you guys here because I'm I'm literally legitimately and you guys all know I just do this stuff for examples. But um, if I was to go put an intrigue post out there, um, what I would do and I, actually what I plan on doing on my personal page, my personal page where I have my following there is I would do a Facebook Live. Why a Facebook Live? Well, because it's the fastest way to reach people, period. Period. If you want to get people's eyeballs on what you have and start getting your message in front of people, Facebook Live, hands down. You guys know I'm the Facebook Live queen, and I used to, I used to, I was so fearful of Facebook Live, okay? But what I'm going to do is, first of all, you want, I, I, um, you want to understand and have clarity around your ideal customer and who you're looking to attract or your ideal business builder, right? Your target market. And then you have to speak to them. And that person typically is the person that you are or the person that you are becoming or want to become, right? So if I want to become and I want to be seen as a strong, powerful leader, I am going to project that out right? And if I, I never give people false identity of like the whole fake it till you make it. I do not like that. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't care for it. I don't care for that saying what I feel like is, is what you want to focus on is just making it period. And it comes off in your messaging. And when you find something you're passionate about and excited about, I'm telling you, It's like, uh, what is it? Ignorance on fire, knowledge on ice. It doesn't matter what ingredients you know about your product. You don't need to run around and and become the scientist behind your products. If someone has a product question, you just lead them to the tool, okay? So what I'm I'm probably going to do when I want to go live with my new company is, um, I don't know, probably show up on my personal page, do a Facebook Live, put a very catchy, intriguing title, right? Um, very short. I probably am going to do something like, um, so I finally found my home or my new home, right? Come find out where my new home is. Okay. And create total intrigue and curiosity, show excitement of where, you know, why I made the move and why people need to get in this right now. Right. Just sharing my excitement. And then what I'm probably going to attach to it is, I don't know, a contest because really I've now enrolled 22 business builders. So really right now I just want to look for customers. Um, And so I'm thinking I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm going to talk about um, how I found this new home, um, the benefits of the product. I'm not going to say what the product is. I'm going to talk about the benefits. I'm going to ask them what they're, you know, struggling with. If they're struggling with X, Y, and Z, they need to jump on this. And then I'm going to say, hey, listen, I'm also going to raffle off, you know, I'm looking for 30 new customers this month. You know, always shoot for the stars. I'm looking for 30 new customers this month. Okay. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to comment below and I need you to say yes, or I need you to message me because right call to action is super, super, super important. And you're going to go into a drawing and at the end of the month, I'm going to pick the winner and you're going to win. Now, this is whatever you'd want to do a hundred dollar gift card. You guys, if you bought in 30 customers, holy cow, can you imagine? Right. And you could say there's all different price points to get started a hundred dollar gift card. I mean, personally me, I'm going to give away a $500 gift card, right? Like you have to go with where your budget is. It could be a $50, whatever. People love getting something for free. They're going to go in this raffle and you're going to pull it out and you're going to announce their name live at the end of the 30 days. And then by that time, whether people have some testimonials that they'd love to share with you, right? So you make it exciting. You make it exciting. Does that, right? Does that sound different? Like, does that sound better than like, 
you know, hey, um, so I joined a new company and love to share it with you. Lose weight, feel great. And, um, you know, all different ways you can start message me. Right. Is that like, am I making sense? Anyone? Yes. Some thumbs up. (laughs) Right. And always know your value proposition. Right. Must have you guys must start having a stronger marketing message because it's so noisy out there. Right. And then you want to uh, embed your marketing message into everything, into your lifestyle post, right? Into your family posts, right? Into whatever you're doing. This is the one thing you want to do. Always think about it. You really want to post with an intention, okay? Um, And you want to post with a call to action if it's going to be wrapped around something to do um, with always get people involved. That's why I love like those Q and a posts. I think those are real fun, right? Like just show your personality, but always have an intention with, with your post, especially your Facebook live. You guys, I cannot even tell you, but always again, uplift, create curiosity, create intrigue. Intrigue marketing is so cool. And then, um, sprinkle it throughout, you know, um, if you are on other platforms, I don't necessarily suggest to be on a ton of platforms. I'm specifically here on Facebook, right? However, um, I do have a way that I am able to cross promote my content. And one way you could do that. And I, I don't know if you could do this from a personal page, but on my fan page, when I post something here, Uh, We use something called Buffer and it cross promotes to um, Instagram and to Twitter, I believe. Okay. But there's a lot of other stuff out there um, that you could use. There's something called IFTTT. You could also use that. I've used that in the past. Um, But really start understanding more about marketing. Okay. That's what I really did. And so you want to start shifting, uh, shift your, um, marketing instead to this like stronger foundation that you develop, which will serve you very well um, now and moving forward, you guys. So no more hope marketing. Okay. Let's just like, instead of just throwing our stuff out there and hoping that it gets looked at, start, start intrigue, start intrigue. And that means no spamming, you know, no, you know, taking, um, I got something today again, you guys, like she took her, um, she took a meme about a, 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 a one, a, I don't know, a wine party and threw it into my inbox. That was it. It wasn't like, hey, um, I would love you to join my online event. I don't know if you drink wine. If you don't, you know, no worries. I mean, if you want to invite anyone that you know that drinks wine, that would love wine, I'm having this event. I'm just trying to get the word out. Um, you know, if you're not interested, just respond, not interested. And I will not bother you again. What? I mean, there was nothing, nothing. So you guys, I'm just, my main goal is to always teach people to be authentic in your messaging and to not just go for the kill, to not just go for the sale because you have to build a relationship, right? I don't know who this woman is, but yet she's in my inbox about a wine party. Um, There is no reason why, there is no emotional reason why I should spend 30 minutes showing up to her online event about wine when I have a whole cupboard full of wine. Does it, you guys, does this make sense? Um, And so I I don't try and bash the spammers. All I try and do is um, educate them and that's it, right? Because I want to make sure that our profession as, you know, network marketers or even your profession, whatever you do, if you're a coach, if you're an affiliate marketer, marketer, you don't want to just, you know, you don't just want to go straight for the, the jugular, as we say, right? Like you have to make sure that you even want to work with this person because you could pull in this Debbie freaking downer. You could be pulling in these people that all they want to do is complain. I mean, I know there's a lot of, I use uh, weight loss a lot because I know there's a lot of products out there that's revolved around weight loss and it's what I know very well. And so you could be pulling in this person that just, you don't even know their backstory. 
and maybe they do want to try your product, but you didn't even get the time to know them. And then they're just telling you like, they're just complaining all the time. And then they're looking at you. Why is this product not working? Why is this not working for me? You don't know what they're doing. You don't know how their diet is. Like you didn't really have that personal connection and conversation. Even though I enroll a lot of people through social media, right? I, I mean, a hundred percent through social media, I still like to get to know them. Right? I still like to understand their pain and their struggle. And I still want to, I'm sorry, guys, I just realized my dog is out here and um, I haven't seen her or heard from her. So it just like clicked. Usually she's up here by me. Um, so you guys, does that make sense? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stop um, midstream there, but I didn't hear my baby. Um, I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Harley. Sorry guys, um, we live in the, like we have the wood area back here and we have coyotes that come around here. We have a fence, so no worries. And I don't hear anything, but I have a 22 pound cockapoo. So I have to make sure, um, oh, there she is. Okay. All right. So, um, let's start working and, and educating ourselves more on marketing sales and marketing. And I know people go like this when it comes to sales, but everything now is, I mean, hello, we are now entered into the 21st century, okay? Like, it, the door-to-door -door sales days are over, and it's time to start educating and understanding the sales process, and the sales process is selling you, and selling the relationship, and selling the solution, and what you could do. Not for everybody, right? Am I right? Like, what we have is not going to be for every single person out there. And um, if you feel that way, cool. But if you start to understand that what you have is not for everybody, I will tell you, you'll probably get further faster. Marketing. Marketing is so important. I focus on social media marketing, okay, primarily. However, you want to understand how to market yourself. You want to understand your personal brand positioning. You want to understand this stuff, you guys. I don't have all the time in the world to teach it right now. So I'm going to leave you with this. Um... I hope, first of all, did you guys found, find value in this? If, if can I, can I get uh, a thumbs up or drop me a one if you found value in uh, today's live, okay? Because I, I just wanted to talk about this because I get a lot of questions about how to market yourself, how to brand yourself, like all of this stuff. And so I want to help you guys understand this, all right? Um, secondly, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, lots of value. All right, awesome. Yes, yes, awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, so real quick, before I hop off, I have to go make dinner. We're having pasta. <laughs> Loading up the carbs tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I'm doing an Encore live training. You guys, I did it on Thursday night. It was so awesome. We had about, uh, at 1.500 people on with us. Um, really, really exciting, really, really cool. And so um, we had, I think, 45 people in boxes that night looking for um, the replay. You were only getting the replay, though, if you actually showed up to the workshop. So tomorrow I am doing two live Encore work workshop trainings, okay? One is at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, and the other is um so again you, uh if you're in the uk you're eight hours ahead of here so that'd probably be the one you want to get on because then the other one is at uh 8 p.m central standard time 9 p.m eastern and then that is it i am no longer doing this live workshop you will get the replay if you attend and um that will be it and uh, so I just want to let you guys know I'd love to have you on. Oh, and if you're in Australia, because I, I know I have a lot of people from Australia that follow me, um, you are 14 hours ahead of my time, which is central. So you would be, I think, oh, and someone help me out here if you're in Australia. I think it's 10 a.m. on Tuesday or um, 8 o'clock, 10 p.m. Tuesday. Right. So it's either 10 a.m. in the morning or 10 p.m. on Tuesday. OK, so you're a whole day ahead of us, 14 hours ahead. Um, the training was so good. Thank you, Molly. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I had a ton of people message me about the training. And so that's why I decided to do it again, because I know there was a lot of people that were not able to get on Thursday night at eight o'clock. So um, I will put the link to that 
register uh, today. The doors will be shutting soon for that registration. Um, share the link, share this video with anyone. I know Sunday, so we didn't have a high attendance rate because not many people come on a Sunday. I know a lot of people are busy, uh, but please, if you found value, like, comment, and share. Uh, tag a friend, tag a teammate right inside the comments so they get to see this. Um, and as always, you guys, I just want to help you rock your business. So I look forward to seeing all of you on the live trainings tomorrow. Okay. Um, Lois, yeah, you were at your convention. Um, was that R and F convention, right? That wasn't that this, this, that was this week. I don't know if you're with R and F, but I, I know that they, um, I do have clients, uh, my person, I have private coaching clients that are with R and F. So I know a lot of them had convention. Um, yeah, there you go. Yes. Yes. And you were in Vegas. So it was a good thing. All you guys went and supported, um, Vegas. Absolutely. So, all right, guys, very cool. Be blessed. Have an awesome Sunday. And I look forward to seeing all of you on tomorrow's workshop training. Okay, bye.